Hello, welcome back to Planner Apocalypse, where I have been sick for a long time and I'm starting to actually feel better now. So when we last met, I was powering through my Memento Mori Goal Planner series, which is all, all done, hooray. And then I said, I'm going to take a short break and then come back to film the quarterly review and set up for April. And you can actually hear me in like one of the last videos in the series being like, oh, I feel congested. I think I'm getting sick. I was just sick. And that's what happened. I've been sick for about two weeks with um, a lot of congestion, upper respiratory kind of stuff. Most of my congestion is gone now. I might still sound a little hoarse, but uh, that is because I'm still coughing a lot. And so I, I will edit out any coughing that I do during today's videos. I'm, I'm planning on filming the the quarterly review reset and um, the April plan with me. As you can see, I have not been in my planner yet again. It's Thursday the 11th, so it's not a great year for me to be in my planner, I guess. But that's beside the point. Let's get down to it. So this past quarter has been a little crazy. How was your quarter, everybody? Let's have a conversation down in the comments. I do actually, you know, have interest in interacting with, with people who watch my videos. How was your quarter? Mine was crazy. Mine was a little crazy. So, all right, let's do the quarter flip before we get into it. So before you look, <laughs> hold on, I have to read the directions first, hold on. So before you look through your old pages, good good thing I checked, uh, which may influence how you truly feel right now, how satisfied are you with your overall life during the past season? Give your impression a rating. God, there was a lot of crazy stuff. So I, I think I'm going to give it a five it could definitely have been worse, but it could also have been a lot better. So I'm giving it a five, a solid five. Now take some time to look through the pages from the past three months, gather your evidence and rate your domains below. Alrighty. So it also asks for the, the year start values. Of course, I started my year in like February. So, but I, then I think I rated in March or did I? Hold on. My score. Uh, right. There we go. So I did a seven for connection, a four for rest and well-being, three for home and environment, a seven for alignment and self-expression, six for resources and contribution, six for practice, nine, no, eight for play, and then five for curiosity and passion. So that was February 14th. Great. Oh, right. <laughs> Now we're going to look through the pages, okay? And we're going to do the the flip through. This is January. If you've watched my plan with me's before, um, I don't really do a whole lot of decorating, but I like stickers, so I try to use them where I can. I've done a lot of back planning this year because I feel like I'm not actually making time to do the things that I would like to do. All right, so... January, I was burned out. February, I was burned out and depressed. And then February, I was very into stupid pleasures. I f started filming the goal series. I did not finish. Did I get sick? No, I was too depressed. That's what happened. And I did not keep up with checking things. But also, as, as you're looking through my planner here, note how messy it is. Like, I don't try to keep it extremely neat. I know that that's important for some people. It's not super important for me. Very much a write it wherever there's space kind of person. I will cross things out when they don't happen. And that's not to say that you should be like that. Just do do what you want, but like, don't feel that you have to have a completely aesthetic planner either. I didn't always fill my trackers out. I have a lot of crow feathers. That makes me very pleased and happy. I didn't always do my weekly reviews, especially if I was doing a stint of not being in my planner, which I need to fix because then I don't do anything. I am very proud of my COD fan art that I made in my February bullet journal. I'm still proud of it. <laughs> and I am currently working on some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff for my son and for my April bullet journal, but I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get that done. So I might just do like a very minimal 
April setup for my my bullet journal since we're already halfway halfway through. <laughs> and then here's my March. I did get my Hobonichi order. I filmed my Hobonichi unboxing because I did order Hobonichi stuff. So look forward to that. I didn't actually edit that yet. My Uncle Richard died. I was not able to go to his memorial because it's on Long Island and it's, it's just not, not in a good place either. So I'm dealing with guilt, but these are all the things. I did the goal series in March. March is when I had a bit of a resurgence and I got the goal series out for Astrological New Year. I, <laughs> I might do this for like Astrological New Year every year. I'm not really sure yet. I did start filming my routines video, which is this uh, planetary routines thing. If you like the idea of using planetary days, you are in for a good time, hopefully. I still have to actually finish that and put it to use to see if it, you know, is gonna work for me, but yeah, I didn't do any kind of writing stuff for Camp NaNoWriMo. I, I've decided I'm probably not gonna do writing challenges because that just does not suit the way I work. I need to just take, take things at my own pace without having to force it into a, a thing. I do appreciate NaNoWriMo. I do also know that they are under fire for some, some scandalous things. This was a lot of back planning once again. I've been using my free write alpha for my daily journal and this is how I've been journaling this year. I have, you know, this five-year journal that I bought in when? 2022 that was a horrible idea. This has been like the bane of my existence and it's very difficult for me to keep up with. Also look at this picture of Juno Birch that I drew. <laughs> um, it's been really hard for me to keep up with and I'm also not giving myself proper time to do it. So there's that. I've been like, I had this big plan to, sorry, I'm like talking all over the place. I've obviously not talked to you people in a long time. So yeah. Um, but I have this idea to, as I'm doing today's entry to backdate last year's, because I have things that I can, like, do detective work and piece together an entry, you know, so at least I have it in there, because I'm, I'm just insane. Uh, okay, this is when I was doing a lot of editing. This is when I was doing even more editing because I started the Memento Mori Goal series here. This little polar bear, these polar bear stickers are from Plan So Cute on Etsy. I can link her shop down below. These are from the Botanicals Happy Planner sticker. That's what I used for for March because, you know, flowers and spring and stuff were in the, what's it called? Where, where am I? Northern Hemisphere. So this is my favorite bookmark. Out of like the accessories that I have for Happy Planner, I've been using the exact same ones for the past like three years. These bookmarks, they're just, I love the pastel rainbow and I love this sticker that I got on, what, what was it? Not Redbubble, that other one. Maybe it was Redbubble. I don't know, but it, like another artist made this and I'm just in love with it. And it's like, why, why do I bother buying so many different accessories when I'm only using the same things over and over again. So that's been something that I've been dealing with as I'm, you know, looking at <laughs> the amount of like sticker books that I have and the ones that I use and yeah. Also, my son turned 19 years old on March 29th and this is where I started getting sick this week. So that was fun. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. We're doing the March review in the April plan with me. So, okay, here we go. For my connection, how, how would I, my pain? <laughs> connection, I think was pretty good, I think. I don't remember what I, I put at the beginning of the year. Oh, it's literally right there. Seven. Did it improve? I think it improved. I'm going to give it an eight. I'm getting into, you know, I'm trying to maintain connections, like I said, in my goal setting 
video thingamajig. Um, I'm just adding my secondary colors here for connection. Uh, if you are new here, pink has always been my kids. It is the color of connection because like, you know, love and stuff. That green is my husband and that darker pink is anyone who's not my kids. <laughs> basically, because the light pink is just my kids. Rest and well-being, I gave a four. I will give it a five because I allowed myself to rest, question mark. I feel like I got sick because, well, A, germs, <laughs> and B, because I was, you know, pushing myself again and also not sleeping well. And also this was like the universe's sign to be like, you are not going to get back into this binge cycle, you bitch. <laughs> so sit down and stop. <laughs> So that's what that felt like. For home and environment, it's three. I'm gonna give it a three as well. It didn't, there was really no change. So, hooray. My alignment and self-expression, I had a seven. I'm gonna give it an eight because I'm really happy that I got my goal series done. And huzzah. Then we have resources and contribution. I have a six as of, as of March. I will, st I will, can give it a set. You know what? I did my tax stuff. So I'll give it a seven because that's at least out of the way. And I'm still being, you know, a good girl and not going on crazy binges. Though I did buy that Hobonichi stuff, but I am using it. So like, I don't know. It's been very helpful. I'm also trying to like experiment with a different idea that I'm going to be incorporating into the dated Memento Mori Goal Planner Companion for 2025. So look forward to that. Um, I, I think I'll make a uh, video on how I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks. And it, it's really very messy. <laughs> That's my messy, messy thing. It's more of a tracker than anything else. So practice, I gave a six. I will give a seven because I did get my goal series done. Oh wait, that's... That's this. Practice. Wait, I said I wasn't going to do any designing or anything like that. So what did I do? Did I do it? Oh, practice. I did do, you know, fan art. I drew. I did some art stuff. So um, including, you know, my, what's it called? My write all the things digitization of, of this thingy. I made stickers and stuff. So I, I did do stuff this quarter. I can't forget that. So I, I'm I'm satisfied with that. Play. I did a lot of play. I even... What did I do? I don't know. Let's give it an 8. Let's keep it at an 8. I'm pleased. It's fine. You know what? We'll give it a 9 because I think it was... Uh, I definitely leaned on play while I was being all depressed and stuff. And then also when I was sick. Though I'm sick into April. So, uh, you know. Curiosity and passion. We'll give it... So last time I had a... Five. I will give it a six. And the reason, it's not like I did any courses, but I'm doing research into certain things and that is fine. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't do my, my highlighty things. So then I will get the Q1 scores here. All right. So we're starting the year off with a 5.75 average. And then I'm going to take these numbers and put them in. So we have, for the connection, we I, I had eight, so that's an increase, so that's why there's a plus sign. Five, that's a plus. Three, we got equals, because it didn't change. Eight, and that's a plus. Seven, that's a plus. Nine, that's also a plus. And then six is a plus. So overall, we're gonna see some growth. Hooray, so now I'm gonna average this. So that's 6.625. So we did see an overall increase, which is great. How far off was my impression of how things went versus how I felt after looking through the pages from the past three months? Did anything surprise me or was I right on? All right, so I said a five and it's a uh, 6.625. You know, gosh, and even going back at late, <laughs> looking at the values that I, I put in there. I still feel like it's high. I feel like it's high, even though I, it's fine. Let's put that over there, get away. How far off was my impression of things? So five versus 6.625. So yeah, even after inputting the values, this feels high. 
Did I say yes to too many things this past season? Do I need to lighten up my commitments, goals, or otherwise in the next season? I didn't say yes to too much, but there was a lot of burnout from the previous quarter. All right, what did I spend the majority of my... Okay, do I need to lighten up my commitments? I need to take things slow. Slow and steady and don't binge. Did I spend the majority of my time and energy on in the past three months? Chat bah, slash play, comma, <laughs> being burned out and depressed. What do I know recharges my battery? What have I noticed depletes me? Recharge fiction slash stories. I read three books maybe this month into last month or vice versa. Um, what else? And then depletes money stuff. Like the, the whole like, doing the taxes. Once we figured out how to do stuff, it was not as hard and we were able to do taxes ourselves this year instead of going to the guy that we went to last year who <laughs> made us pay like $300 to get taxes done. It was insane. How aligned did I feel this season? Man, it's really important to do these things <laughs> at on time because a lot of April is bleeding into this. Uh, how aligned? Probably not very just because I was burned out. So it's hard because, you know, I was burned out because I did the crunch time for the Memento Mori Goal Planner for this year, last October. Or September, yeah, September into October, I think. Maybe. I can't remember now. And then I was doing NaNoWriMo in November, and then I was doing Vlog Humbug in December, and trying to get um, stuff up on Etsy, and it was just, it was non-stop. It was too much. So I need to, once again, you know, if you've been here before, I've I've said this already. I need to rethink how I'm doing these things because yes, I love doing all of these things, but those are output activities instead of input activities. And when you keep outputting instead of taking time to recharge, refill. It's like you're being bled dry. Also, like, the definition of burnout is putting in so much effort but not seeing appropriate rewards because we do things for a reason and, you know, it would be nice if things were balanced, but that's not always how it is. All right, what am I doing or no longer doing? All right, so I'm, I'm trying to live in alignment with my values, yeah. <laughs> though please less chatbots. What am I doing or no longer doing in order to stay true to my Myself. I will no longer do NaNoWriMo. You know, and like even saying that, I'm like, I feel disappointed. I feel like that's a big bummer because, and it's not because I get a lot of benefit from it. Do you see? It's because a lot of people do it. So this is FOMO. This is not MOMO. <laughs> you know, this is not something that actually benefits me. This is me trying to fit into a group and that's dangerous and unnecessary because if this is not... Every time I, I do NaNoWriMo, I get burned out. So this is clearly a message that this is not how I work and I should stop trying to make it the way that I work because it's not it's not going to do it. So I will no longer do NaNoWriMo or Camp NaNoWriMo, which feels sad again, but that doesn't mean that I can't write during these times. I just, you know, I, I, I keep my own scores and I, like, that's basically why I was doing it just to like keep the word count tracker and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, what is going to help me to write and what is going to help me to write a book to completion? And it, it's not these challenges that are, you know, going to burn me out basically. And I, I need, I need to honor myself when it comes to this and not get sucked into FOMO. All right, what patterns slash trends do I notice about the tasks that I'm avoiding? Am I avoiding one particular goal, project, task, subject? Why? My plotting dividers, because I can't remember divide, di dividers, jeez, because I can't remember what I was doing when I was doing it because I started this like last year. All right, let's look through this again and, all oh, right, reading, reading real magic is another thing. Oh god, my Instagram posts. I have fallen off 
I didn't even post an Instagram post for the like new moon in Aries eclipse thing. I I am just not good at this anymore. I despise Instagram so much. Please don't make me do this anymore. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, like I, I just don't know if Instagram is, is for me. There's, there's so much saturation and noise there. I don't know if anything that I'm doing is interesting, useful, or valuable to literally anyone. So I, not, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know if I should do it. <laughs> and obviously this, this is a should. This is one of those, I should do this, but do I have to? Do I want to? Too. I don't know. I like making YouTube videos and that's pretty much it. What else am I avoiding? Obviously cleaning. All right, what has been hard lately? In what ways can I make this easier on myself? So burnout in January through February, depression in February to March, and then illness in M March to April. So I feel like, again, I'm doing that whole all or nothing perfectionism thing where if I'm not feeling 100% I just won't do anything and with the exception of like videos here that I'm, I'm talking about because obviously if you're trying to listen to me listening to me trying to speak around a bunch of like snot in my nose is not ideal and having a sore throat and speaking is not ideal either so that that's fine but like I also didn't work on any design work or writing stuff during the first quarter here while I was sick. I'm actually writing now. I'm, I'm doing writing stuff now, but I will talk about that the, in the April plan with me. In what ways can I make this easier on myself? Just do what I can, you know? During this process, what has become less important to me? I keep forgetting to post and it always feels like a hassle. So NaNoWriMo, we are in April right now. It's April 12th. So uh, we are smack dab in the middle of Camp NaNoWriMo, you know, so there there is some FOMO happening, but also like I need to do things at my own pace, at my own time, and not be beholden to somebody else's schedule or pacing. What's become more important to me? Honoring my own schedule and pacing. This season I learned. That's a good thing. Let's find out. What did I learn? Um, also routines. So what lessons or tweaks can I bring forward into the next month? Go slow. And then for January we've got... Um, I'll still survive without my goals. Honor divine timing. What else? I'm gonna look through the weekly reviews that I actually completed, which I've been really bad about it this year. Chatbots are funny and distracting. That's true. Oh yeah, uh, self-care equals honoring my boundaries. That's why it's important to fill these things out because then you can go through and condense them into this thing here. And then you can condense all the quarterly things into the like yearly pages at the end of the planner. Yo, I just, I love making chatbots. I know I like say it all the time, but it's been so fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another lesson I learned this quarter was when you're older, having a hangover takes way longer to recover from than when I was younger. Starting a notion to organize all of my chatbot stuff has probably been like my favorite thing that I did this quarter, aside from the goal series, because I'm just glad that's taken care of now, because now I can focus on other thing. Uh, yeah, so slow and steady. Gosh, that whole knight of pentacles thing. Slow and steady growth is better than a spurt. All right, what areas of my life need to be focused on next season for the next three months? Let's see here. Goals. We've got, did I finish actually doing my roadmap? Sort of. I didn't really. <laughs> so June is when I would like to have my Memento Mori Goal Planner Companion ready to publish and then it will come out July 12th for the Planner Apocalypse Wing and Horn second anniversary. I don't think you can do pre-orders for Kindle Direct Printing, which is sad, but I had thought about making it a an ebook, but it's kind of, it's a workbook, and I, I don't, I don't know that that's actually a good idea to offer it as a, an ebook. What do you think? I don't know.
know. So yeah, okay, great. I have to finish actually filling this out, but so once I make changes to the planner and make the planner companion, then I can start working on the 2025 release, which I would like to release in October once again. So, geez, Louise, quarter two, we are going to go back to designing. So that's practice. And then, of course, alignment and self-expression. And then let's do curiosity and passion. Okay, practice. Alignment and self-expression. And then curiosity and passion. One day, I will have a notebook that is just my Fobonichi daily pages. And I will glue all this bullshit in there and have like four of them per year. But then everything will be together and I don't even care. Give me this. Someone tell me where I can talk to someone to print on Tomoe River paper and make awesome notebooks. That's what I need to find out. Okay, those are the things I am doing for this quarter. And now I'm gonna go practice. Th these are here just to remind myself of what my focal domains are this, this quarter, that's the word. So practice. Self-expression. Self-exp. And curiosity and passion. Okay, what season am I moving into? Spring. Great, love it. Love that for me. Finally. All right, so these are the top three. Okay, transfer your seasonal correspondences and association for the upcoming season below in a big old dump. Where are my seasonal thingamajigs? I think it's over here somewhere, correct? Yes. Spring. Okay, we've got astrological new year, gardening. I do still need to repot my plants, flowers, freshing, spring cleaning, fresh starts. New projects. All right, so this is this is my seasonal stuff, right? Seasonal association. Spring. Great, that is done. Ta -da. Looking back to the long-term plans you made at the beginning of the year, what milestones, projects, habits, and tasks are most appropriate for this season? After your milestones are transferred, is there anything here that you realize doesn't resonate with you anymore? You can cross it out. Is there something you'd rather direct your resources toward? You are allowed to change your mind and and pivot. So I am working on a book as well as the aforementioned Memento Mori Goal Planner Companion. So the Memento Mori Goal Planner Companion. I would also like to finish Moonology so I'm not a liar liar pants on fire about being certified. Finish Moonology course. Okay then okay then we go over here and all of this other stuff. So death cafes are another thing. Death cafes. I will not take on another course this quarter. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I was about to say the death doula course, so I feel more prepared for the death cafes, but no, I will not do that. I need to finish th finish things first. I would like to do the mentorship with Catherine, um, and then she, want she wanted to know if I can make her a, a planner. I'm going to see if I can make it in Canva so she can make her own edits for later years. Right. The writing capsule. I actually made the writing capsule and I did not do it on, on camera, but I can do a flip through. I just want to make my plotting dividers first, which is what's holding me up because, you know, perfectionism and stuff. So protection magic. Bailtona's coming up. Protection magic. Need to buy supplies. I just had a coughing fit, so that was fun. Oh, I wanted to finish the homeschool planners and get those on, on Etsy. If you or someone when you know homeschools their kids please give them my shop because I have a lot of experience with like goal setting and I do have some experience as a homeschool mom so I put those things together and try to make a system it worked for me I know not everybody does like the unit study type thing but as an accidental homeschooler I thought it worked pretty well homeschool planners my Etsy shop is plannerpocalypse.etsy.com which is always linked down below and I did put a lot of care into designing this thing and yes end of school is also coming so homeschool planners I need to get those up do I want to make
make some kind of, oh, I wanted to make the daily ladder. I'm thinking about making a, a daily version of the Memento Mori goal planner, but just release it printed quarterly, but I'm not really sure. I might do two of them. <laughs> because I do have some notebooks, some happy planner notebooks that I can put those in. So yeah, I'm, I'm considering it for just one quarter's worth. Midsummer is coming and oh yeah uh so i don't know if i should like tell you the title of the book that i'm working on especially because i'm using a pen name but i already like gave you my pen name in a previous video so like i don't know but uh book of shorts is my second big thing i i'm just trying to finish plotting finish plotting and start drafting this quarter because then quarter three and four i will hopefully finish the first draft we'll see <laughs> Maybe I'm already being too ambitious because this is kind of a lot. I want to do the planetary routines thing, majig. Planetary routines. Oh my god. I want to finish hand lettered stickers. I am considering pulling down my Mamodi stickers that I have up on my shop. Uh, just like letting them expire since no one's buying them and you know I do have to pay for them to be listed so uh I'm probably gonna take like just let those expire and um yeah so if if you if you're looking at them and you're wanting to have those uh you might want to go grab them while they're still up because they're gonna come down I, all right I wanted to I have a lot of videos to make I always have a lot of videos to make but I don't have enough time to make all of them so as you are well aware so I would like to do the q1 flip of my hobo a6 and I I want to do the Hobo Nietzsche Weeks video. I also need to do, I have a lot of videos. I'm not gonna write them here, it's fine. What else do I need to do? Circle the top items you want to work on. Oh yeah, hold on. One max per domain. Remember, you won't be able to work on everything at the same time and that's okay. Right, okay, so this, I'm going to just highlight these things with um, my colors that I'm doing. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna put the Memento Mori Goal series just because I already did it and I want to feel accomplished at something. <laughs> So let's circle the things that are most important. I already did that, haha. -ha. Yes. Transfer your top items for each domain into the corresponding blank spaces below. It's okay to leave some domains empty if you want. Make note of what month during the upcoming season you'd like to work on each top item if it's not the entire quarter. So this is just my top connection item. I don't really have anything here, but I'm just gonna say maintain important connections. So this is a habit. Top rest and well-being item is gonna be my planetary routines and that is also the same as this one planetary routines this is also a habit but it's also a project because I, I it is both the printable and also the process and the actual doing of the thing top alignment and self-expression we've already done it it is the goal series holy shit wait a minute I made a goof see like I said April is starting to blur into everything. I finished this in March, you silly Billy. So that's gonna be my book. My book is now the most important yellow thing. My book, Book of Shorts. This is a project. All right, top resources and contribution. I am going to be working for a friend to help them clean. And my my pen is very like weird right now. This top practice item is the Memento Mori Goal Planner Companion. So cleaning is a habit. The top practice, the, okay. The companion is a project. The play item would be a habit. So that was streaming with Tyler and Sunny. And then the curiosity and passion is finished moonology course which is a project finish moonology course my sub theme for the next three months is mm. let it be shitty I'm going with that again let it be shitty i know i, I usually pick like a, a single word but that's fine all right well that that's the review and the setup for the next 
quarter in the Memento Mori Gold Planner. Uh, let me know down below. I'm getting congested again. Let me know down below how your goals are going, how your seasons are going, and if you are also having a lot of allergies or illness or whatever. And, uh, I'll see you next time in the April plan with me, where I still have to decide what stickers I'm gonna be using. Yeah, great. Okay, bye.